everybody, it is Metal Bro back with day 46 of New Era. The the end is nigh and I actually kind of started over here. We were over by the the gun range over here. We were doing a job for Bob and well I've just been kind of using a 44 Magnum overnight and well I figured for a goal this episode take out some gonna go after a little trophy that is known as Dirty, Dirty Larry. Now if I remember correctly, from this is like an, an old trophy from the Legacy version, but let's take out mm, 44 punks with a you know, 44 Magnum, so... I think you could use the Desert Vulture, but... The, uh... It was using the 44 Magnum revolver, so... I figured that's that's how I Leo, that's how it was earned, so I figured kinda in a little you know, kinda as a way to pay homage to like a CEO. You know, we might as well just use the uh use the forty four Magnum revolver and you know, so Besides I love the look of the stuff. Not saying I don't love the Desert Vulture. Not saying I don't love the look of the Desert Vulture, I do too. It's like, you know, based off the iconic Desert Eagle, but this 44 Magnum would just look so beautiful. Come here. There we go. And yeah, just, you know, fun, a fun little thing for you, uh, those of you who are not. who are not, um. Too uh, involved with uh, firearms. I I'm very much, very much love for uh, firearms. I I know my knowledge on them, but uh, in case you're kind of wondering, like, what kind of revolver this is based off of, you know, you know, obviously it's a 44 Magnum, but there are different variations to the, the revolvers. This is uh, looking at the revolver itself, and let's actually just drop it quick. Take a look at it. Um, this this very much. Uh, I just want to take a look at the general style of it, but if you ignore the if you ignore the ridiculously tall uh, front sight post, which I can't stand in this game sometimes because it just looks so ridiculous. The SMG has it too, but this revolver is based off of this revolver is. Uh, it's a Colt Anaconda, and it, so that's what it is. Sorry for being a little bit roundabout about that, but it's kind of it's kind it's kind of easy to tell because of the little bridge barrel Hold with the notches dog. above it. So hot dog. Let's shoot out the okay, lights. good work. Take that off you, and we could use some extra gunpowder. That aside, let's take a look at Trader Bob's. Let's see. Gyrocopter chest, a flat out 4x4 for 51 bu uh, 51,000 bucks we got. I'll take that yellow die off you. Um, buy some more steel just for the... Not just for that. In there, I was wanted to check his uh, check his things for for the for the um for anything vehicle related. But oh joy, I'll just buy his uh, buy most of his, I might his, have his schematics off him. Room if you're interested. Okay, take a little read here. Take you, take you, and we've unlocked our Iron Sphere Quality 6, and I want to take a look at that. We can't put any mods on the on the scope, but dies do comply to the 44 uh, Magnum's grip. Also, put my put my stinker goggles back on. I figured since we're going to be heading heading up to Trader Hugh, we. 
Again, you turn in for tier 6, which we are unlocking. I figure we can go talk to Trader Jen. That's not all, though. I figure in the, as a little celebration for myself of tier 6 being unlocked, I want to check out a POI that I've been... I want to check out a little POI that I've been wanting to have a... that I've been wanting to look at. So, we'll jump over to Jen's here quick, which shouldn't be that bad at all. Hopefully she does have some medical supplies. It is a tier 4 POI I'm wanting to check out, but because I do know what it is uh, in reference to, we'll... I will, I, I want to check it out. Really don't get to see it too much anymore. Okay. Trader Jim, what do you have for me? Holy some antibiotics. Jen, how are We've you doing? Medical supplies and a bit of everything else. Have a look. Give me that and top tier treatments ready. So we go. I'll just buy that, that, buy that, and that. Urban Combat Volume Seven. We'll take. Um, what did I just take off you? But of course you have your. Your fabulous healing supplies, which no, nah, I don't have any of that. Unfortunately, nothing fun. Sniper rifles, but we can already make those. You don't have really much for me. I'll actually take your. That and that just that to modify the 44. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Here, we'll just grab that. Okay, that's a little unusual seeing a laser on a 44 Magnum, but especially this style revolver. But yeah, it gives it a little bit more damage. Handgun magazines, shotguns, and we unlocked pump, my pump shotgun quality three. She didn't have any uh, infection medications, but shouldn't be that. Shouldn't be too worried about that. Now for for the, for the extra little POI, we gotta head west. <sighs> okay, so I'll meet you over at that little POI. And we'll take a little raid through it. Alrighty, here we are. It's a short little flight, but I figured you'd cut that out for you to me. Make it less boring. Here we are, it's... I have been wanting to raid this POI for a while. I can't remember the name of this thing, but... Installation Blue Ridge. In case you're wondering what this is uh, in reference to, this is uh, this is actually in reference to an old show uh, from that aired from the 2000s. Like uh, I think it did to the 2010s. It's it's called Stargate SG1. I recognize this and POI because I used to watch it a little bit, like because my dad used to. And like, I do remember some of the characters and all that, but you know, I doubt they'll be directly in here. But I figured it'd be a fun, you know. I've been intrigued by this because like, some of the scenes where I'm in, it's like, you know, from the show. Take care of you. Figured, figured it'd be fun just to take the 44 Magnum through a lot of this. So. <sighs> okay. Ow. Take care of you. And that eh, 44 Magnum's doing all right. I know it's not top tier 44, but yeah. Oh, what the hell? We gotta have some fun once in a while. 
What's the point of a video game if you're not having fun? Um, anybody in here? No? And... Oh! Hello, good sir. Oh. I guess he was mad, be, uh, mad with me about the, uh, about climbing around there. Anybody in here? No? Yeah, a bit more on Sturgy as you want. I do remember it, like, dealt with a lot of, like, um, like, aliens, like, uh, well, extraterrestrial stuff. Like, also, I think, if I remember correctly, some, some not exactly, uh, I think, like, you know, like, basically, like, interplanetary stuff. Back up a little bit with these clowns. Oh, please don't be so slow for me. Give you a little bit. I try to. I've tried to use the 44 as much as possible for this, but got to be careful with the. Ow. There. We got to be careful because there's a lot of military zombies. There you go. Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Because because uh, it's a quest. Well, not a quest. Don't have to worry about like going out too far for resupply and everything like that. I think it'd be fair just to take that and take another half stack of 44s just in case I run out. <sighs> Where are you, zombies? Also... Where is my... Give me my... Give me my old brain bucket here. Got, got some high security stuff. We got. Supposed to open this up. Bringing military supplies down. And that's locked up tight. Looks like a bit of a security breach in here. Oh, you're. Ow! Lamp. Let's not get taken out by by zombies in this one. <sighs> um, where is some? Where is the fire control? Are we supposed to go under? If so that's kind of cool. And... Oh, the local spire zombie. What what military installation would be complete? Like the local spider zombie. He's the he's the base pet. Um, are we supposed to see if there's anything hidden in these? A bit of water. You got some ammunition. Not a bit more nine mil. And we'll just circle back around really quick just to see. Because we did deactivate the fire spreading. That that door is uh, locked up. Check you. Schematic I've already read. And another book pile. More tools digest. I like the look of this though. This is really cool. That looks about right. Not from what I remember. Uh... Cheeky, uh, cheeky vents. That's supposed to. I want to try and jump up here, just to see if we can. I don't think we're supposed to go through there. Oh, what? Whoa! Wow, that's a lot of that's a lot of fire. Oh, look, zombies are getting set, uh, being taken care of. How nice. Holy skill points. That's a kind of that's the one big time that I will I gotta be careful of that. That should be the fire system taken care of. Keep advancing. I gotta see what secrets are held in here. <sighs> Um, 
run through the maintenance works. Take care of you. And... Mr. Jander can go away. Workbench. Not too much fun in there. That's another, that's another little shaft we have to go up to. That looks like some more zombie stuff. Yep. Okay. Once again, load the magnum. And... We're in the showers now, the bathrooms. Anybody hiding in here? No? Okay. Are in locker rooms and where is the okay? Get a little no. Oh, we run around. <laughs> Sorry, was I was I interrupting? <laughs> Looks like three good shots to a regular soldier will do them in with a magnum. So. Sixty. Oh, hello, good sir. Are you having a little bit of issues? Do you need to be helped? And ow! Wow, you really saw there, huh? Go down. Thank you. Okay. Keep advancing. That's the fire pipe done. Hidden stuff. Looks like we gotta go up the elevator. Yep. And, ooh, the elevator got busted. I have another back head. Wake up. There we go, Dirty Larry. Dirty Larry is unlocked. I believe it should say, uh, I think, uh, kill 44 punks with a 44 magnum, so. Um, this door is locked. That looks like the main loot. Please go away. I'd prefer not to be. And turn into a zombie mist here by you. Perfect. Now we just gotta go up. Up, up, up. Looks like we got a, got a regular soldier. Ow. You're done for, so. More abrasions, my favorite. There we go, you're taken care of. Sharp sticks, we got more of that fun stuff. I am really liking this POI. Um, go up. Yep. Looks like we're leading to a hatch. Oh, wait. Not supposed to go in there. Or are we? Wait a minute. Oh! Hi! Did not realize you. Did not realize there was supposed to be spire zombies hanging out in there. I have not, I have not exactly seen that before. High ranking officer. Sounds like more people are wanting to have a word. Yes, I'm reporting with my M60 for service. The M60 is glad to report for service. Vault hatch is open. 
We're on top of the... And we are on top of the insulation. Is there anything that I'm supposed to be running through, or...? I don't think so. Let's just... Let's just take a look in here and see. Um... This bathroom seems to be okay. I'm just shooting here just in case there's a false floor or something like that. Hiding in the... Hiding in the old, uh... Can never be too careful sometimes. How are you supposed to get into the main loot, though? That is my big question. Oh! This is the main loot. I like that flag, though. Too bad we can't take it with. Um, there we go. Take the equipment with, and... Military chest with another... 9 mil pistol, so we'll just read that. Ooh, auto shotgun. How'd they know I won the one? Just read that. We'll eat that. Yeah, clearly read that's a can of food. I forgot my lockpicks. Oh. Just check the rest of this, though. So. Give me that. And we got and we got a jar of honey to go with, so <sighs> one second while I after we break into this box. One second while I go and break into the uh while, one second while I lock back into the chest and we'll take take a look at the loot. Alrighty, we picked into the chest, we got some acid, a Another chest, oh, well, another treasure chest map. I searched this, just a couple magazines, some robotic parts and all that. And that junk. I'll honestly just leave it there, because I have so much stuff. Back at base, we got another airdrop. Which I don't think is that far away. Just gotta run up. Looks like the, that looks like the airdrop down there. Looks like it's by the Shotgun Messiah Factory. I'll actually just... leave a little... leave a little... quick waypoint there just to... just to uh, remember that for next time, so... Oh! Good little bit of loon, yo. Love seeing a... a nice little nod to uh, pop culture. So, off to Trader Hughes we go. I'll meet you over there. Alright, here we are at Trader Hughes, and we also get a big kitty here to, that would like to have a word with me. Come here. There we go. Oh, you guys had a second to bushes, I'm not gonna... I am not gonna bother him. Uh, before we get to Gung Ho... Let me just actually try and empty up the inventory a little bit and just do need to. It takes some awards for him to accept it. All right, Trader Hugh, what you got? You got the job done. Yes, uh, credit Pay my skill. To the Duke. Might as well take him. And there we go. Jar counter parts bundle. We'll take actually that and the Dukes. Because I already got auto turrets. We still have tier 5 jobs, so. That's unfortunately. Uh, I can't really do my rounds the... pierce that. Shut the fuck up and get out of my shop! Take it easy there, buddy. Just putting my goggles on. And. There we go. Sledgehammer quality six. I've got enough firepower to start a Do you war have or end one? Instead of yapping at me, Mr. Hugh, I would appreciate if you had a lot of uh, goods for me. Thank 
you for all of that, and I believe I have like everything except solar cells, like well, everything except um, whatever you call it, like the candy and the and the awesome sauce. So that is still freakishly expensive. You don't have anything that I necessarily want. Ooh, Magnum Forcer Volume One. Well, taking that. Buy that, and buy those books off you, and grab that off you. Ah. Pack and heat is always a good idea. Now, we got. Let's read that quick and that quick. Egg Enforcer Volume One. That is that is a complete set of books. Went to mark off. Stefan's treasure map we got. Which is uh, to the southwest. We might actually do that after a little resupply because I do have our destination in mind. Okay. Did I have another one sitting in the. I thought I did, but. Oh well. So I'm actually going to put. Before I forget though, Magnum Forcer's uh, complete bonus is. All shots with 44 magnum penetrate enemies, and you can bulk craft the 44s as if I need to. Penetration 44 and regular high power enemies. 44 regulars and high powers can penetrate enemies and hit targets behind them. Ah, <sighs> so basically, put it, putting it simply. The 44 Magnum, once you have that book finished out, it can it can basically be like a pseudo uh, kind of penetrator like the sniper rifle. Uh. So yeah, as I was saying though, I'm going to put my stuff away uh, here and... Well, I do have a little uh, destination that would involve the... That would involve uh, kind of going over... Potentially uh, stopping for that on the way back. Besides, we have to wait for tier six stuff uh, to come in, unless I want to go to tree erect. So let me get resupplied and and we'll actually we'll go ahead to the little destination. Check and check back with you in a little bit. Okay, everybody. So right, we're her, our little little destination here. We're not going. I might do the treasure chest in a second, but I, I accidentally overflew it a little bit. That box there is like when we raided that little little radio station, and figure we'll just kind of cruise the gyrocopter up. I forgot to empty it, but it's not that bad. I figure we go for a little round two on on the on the bear den because I did not complete this in the. First time I did it way back. Um, oh, there went there went the street lamp. Yeah, I did this like within I want to say like the first week of the series, and because I felt I felt brave. It, sir, go away. And well, it's because I was, I was wanting to get testosterone for the bears from the bears for. And I kind of thought I was able to take a zombie bear on or two. I was like, oh, it couldn't be that tanky and everything. And I'm like, and well, I immediately regret that. But I figured, since I've got a lot more, uh, a lot more power with the sniper, with the, uh, considering I got, you know, all this uh, firepower to back me up, wouldn't be a bad idea just to take a little take a little trip over to uh, the bear den and get my vengeance a little bit. The bear almost, the zombie bear almost did take me out, so. Gotta remind myself, though, of where where I go, because I do want to follow the path a little bit, so. Um, yeah, it's a little, it's a tier 3 in the pine forest. It, it won't be that bad, but. 
Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you gotta be able to take them down. The only real thing I would say about this POI is I'm surprised it's a. I'm surprised it's a. It's a tier three of all things. Like, because it throws um. And throws a zombie bear at you, which is one of the, which is one of the tankiest enemies in the game. The loot. Eh. Okay, I'm surprised I didn't even break my leg from that one. <sighs> that is not the right path. But like I said, I I don't think this should be a tier three. Tier three. I'm like. I would think of this as like a tier four POI. At the very least. I think we're supposed to That gives you a preview of the loot. I think we're supposed to go down one of... yeah, this little fire escape here just to And then we jump over. Yes, I remember being here from all these years ago. Yep. I think it's actually... Ow. Okay. Well, I guess I would need a... I would like to have a... Look at this. It's not even that bad now. Alright, there went that guy. Where is this guy? Where... Where'd you go? Hmm? I wonder where you went. Yeah, these guys give out... You gave me two impact bracing mod schematics. Alrighty then. They wanted to make sure I thoroughly knew the schematic. Where is the other zombie bear though? Where'd you go? Ow, 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 ow. I'm not about to be taken out by you, of all things. There we go. That's really what the big the big thing is about the about this POI, I'm like Give me your loot. I'm like, you, I think this would be more fitting as a, like a tier four of all things, so. Basically kind of, I think if you have parkour, yeah, you can like, uh, you can bypass the, the stairs quick and you go to blue, but I'm like, one of those, I am really surprised that this is a tier three. Because I'm thinking, like, by the time you'd have tier three, if you're doing quest hard, kind of questing hardcore, you would be about, you'd probably have about an AK or something like that, and it's like even then it would be a challenge to say the very least to shoot them. But look at this, we got our loot. That is that is our fabulous little loot prize. Wanted to have a little bit of vengeance for this, so. Oh, good, stuff's back. Which does remind me, folks, I do stream seven days on Twitch, uh, three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, uh, for about three and a half hours usually, so. You know, if you want to check your description and come join, you're much appreciated, so. Oh. I think we're almost all the way beaten through this, uh, Soul chest. And there we go. Finally, a vehicle mod schematic that is actually useful. The fuel saver. I can't believe I actually like, found. Comment and subscribe. Thank you, Stove. He hammered the point home for you guys. So and give you me the savage country. You. We actually got a tier 5 hunting rifle. And that's all our loot. 
Uh, I believe we just go downstairs, so try not to land on the spikes. So I'm, good. I'm actually going to dig up the treasure for you guys, and, and uh, well, and I'll show you the loot. Alright, let's check out our treasure loot. One thing I do want to say is I did, just for the heck of it, just try it out, like, uh, for Treasure Hunter. I tried out, like, uh, you know, I maxed it out because I'm like, ah, I got the points to spare. I'm like, so... Every three blocks dug up treasure search radius is reduced by one meter. I don't. I wonder if this makes uh, applies to uh, buried supplies from traders, but it makes it really easy because like just literally every three blocks, that's so like. And I also get thirty percent more items. We got some extra junk out of there, and there we go. Extra ammo, making supplies, and all that. Some good old stuff. And, well, I'd say that's a successful little episode. So next, so next one, we're going to be going into, going to uh, be trying out uh, Tier 6, which uh, I will say they're all infestations. Uh, so, this ought to be fun. I at least want to complete one, maybe two in the... But it'll be fun. So, if you made this uh, far into the episode, you like what you see, and want you want to see more from me, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below, and uh, turn on notifications. Helps the channel out oh so much. Have a good one, and take care.